Welcome to my first GIMP tutorial. GIMP is an excellent free alternative to the very popular Adobe Photoshop. The version I'm using here is GIMP 2.6 on a Linux platform, uh, Linux Mint 10. Uh, but this is a, a cross-platform program and it is also available for Windows and for Macs. What I'm going to try to do in this tutorial is familiarize you with the layout of GIMP and help you set some reasonable preferences. When you first open GIMP you see three windows something like you see on screen here. I think this layout is probably quite good if you have a standard 1024 768 display monitor but since many of us now have larger widescreens we need to alter the layout. For me um, this, this window, the, the longer windows, run off the bottom of the screen so I need to shorten them, pop them up in the corner and drag it down to the bottom of my screen. Okay, That by the way is the layers, channels, paths and undo uh, tabs on the top half here. Leave it on layers, that's the thing you're going to learn about first in GIMP. At the bottom we have brushes, grade, um, patterns and gradients. Leave that on brushes, that's what you'll need most. Don't be put off by the extra functionality, just worry about the things we're actually going to use for now. On the left hand side here we have a toolbox, I need to do the same thing to this. Shorten it, pop it up in the corner and drag it down to fill the space. This has all of the tools that are available in GIMP at the top and at the bottom the options for the selected tool. So here I'm on paintbrush, here are the paintbrush options. As I change tools, then the options change to match the tool. So, quite a straightforward window. This is the main GIMP window here, and this has all the menus to access all of the different tools uh, that GIMP has and to open files, etc. Okay. So that, that's the basic three window layout. It appears as three windows in your taskbar, but please don't be put off by this. The fact it's multiple windows um, is actually more of a bonus than a problem. If someone else has used your GIMP they may have closed down this right hand window the layers, channels and paths by clicking the cross. If they've done that you might wonder how to get it back. Well quite simple Windows might have a little bit of a pause here because I'm uh, recording the desktop. Recently closed Docs and hopefully we're going to pop out with a menu eventually. There it is layers, channels and paths and that brings it back for us. Okay, That's great, that's the windows where I want them but obviously I don't want to go through that every time I open GIMP so I'm going to go to edit preferences and in here near the bottom windows management and I'm going to choose save windows positions now. I'm also going to untick save windows positions on exit the reason for that is other people use my machine and if they leave the windows in funny positions when they close the program I don't want that setting to be saved. Okay, we're going to set some other preferences now starting with environment at the top. Resource consumption levels for GIMP are by default rather low. I only have a 2 gig system, 2 gig of memory but I can certainly up these substantially. For now I'm going to double them. I could do much more but double them I find works fine for me. So 5 becomes 10 for undo levels. Undo memory from 64 becomes 128 megabyte and maximum new image size from 128 becomes 256. That's that done. Next thing we might like to look at is help. On help it says use a locally installed copy but the user manual is not installed locally. If you're going to have this option what you'll need to do is go to uh, this website it's the gimp.org website to the install help page and there follow the very simple instructions to it download and install the help locally. I'm not going to do that I'm going to choose the second option which is the online version because I have a decent internet connection and it's easier. Okay. Next thing to look at are tool options I'm not actually going to do anything here but I just want to point out this thing save tool options on exit. If only you use your computer you may want to check this box because then when you use a tool and you change the options they will stay saved next time you open GIMP. This is a shared machine so I want it always to open with defaults on each tool so I'm leaving it unchecked. Okay, Let's move down to the toolbox. On here we have 
appearance some things that we can choose to show on the screen at the moment choose show foreground and background color and that's over here on my toolbox black is the foreground white is the background color at the moment beneath that we have show active brush gradient and pattern if I click that they appear over here in the toolbox brush pattern gradient they take up no extra screen space so I put them on and they of course link to the right hand window here where we have brushes pattern and gradient third option on here is show active image uh, I find I don't need this and I'd rather have the space for my tool option so I'm going to leave that off for now the last area we're going to change in the preferences is the default image size by default it's 640 by 400 pixels that's very small I'm going to make it quite a bit larger 1200 by 800 pixels and the default is 72 points per inch or dots per inch that's a great resolution for web display but not for print I want something larger so I'm going to make some changes to the advanced options if this is minimized just open it up where it says 72 I change that to 150 which is a normal desktop printer resolution if you're going for commercial printing you may want to look at 300 dots per inch or points per inch these are locked together so if I just click elsewhere they both become 150 color space um, RGB red green blue color space is fine for now background color is my fill that's fine although you at times may want to use transparency depending on what you're doing if you want a transparent background for me that's fine as defaults so that's it that's me done in my preferences so I'm going to click OK everything's just how I like it I'm going to close down GIMP and open it again to show you how those defaults fit in okay so the windows are in the correct position when I open a new image it goes with my defaults 1200 by 800 150 DPI and there it is now you may be tempted at this point to maximize this window I'll show you what happens if you do that okay part of your window disappears behind the the tool windows so don't do that okay uh, if you want to make the window bigger use the corner and make it bigger but don't maximize it because it occupies the whole screen All right. close that new image I'm not going to start an image today very often anyway you won't be going file new you'll be going file open and opening existing photograph or image because that's what most of us use GIMP for for image editing not image creation although it is a very capable uh, piece of software for image creation as well and for combining multiple images Okay, in future tutorials we will get on to actually doing something with image, with, with different images, but for now what you've got is a good basic setup with GIMP there and you're ready to go to open a file and begin to start.